Well, this is the time of year we turn the heat up inside and bundle up to go outside. But not all animals are like us. Five on your side's Tracy Hinson introduces us to a cold loving mammal and two species that need help warming up like we do. Talking about talking. The only animal in the red rock section of the zoo that doesn't need a heated barn. They have um, a really long nose which heats up the air before it gets to their lungs so they don't burn a lot of energy just trying to stay warm. Well, our human noses aren't quite long enough for that, so we bundle up. Now another species has a different way to bundle up and hint, some of us do this during Thanksgiving. So obviously the seals and sea lions aren't really gonna wear any coats or hats or anything, but by getting more fish over the winter time, they build up that nice thick blubber layer, which is that layer of fat right underneath the skin that really helps to insulate them and keep them warm. There's another animal at the zoo that needs more than just a feast to stay warm. And this one might surprise you, the humble penguins. Our winters here are slightly colder than what they would have in Peru. So what we are able to do is provide them with just a little bit of heat. Uh, when they are in their habitat, our vents blow warm air at them. So if they want to, if they want to, they can come and stand in the vents. Um, and we also give them the, ch the choice to come inside. So while not all animals can be like talking and are made for winter, others like seals and some penguins are more like us humans than we would expect.